ready to share your masterpiece with the world, head on over to your edit or video and select the edit option. It's never a bad idea to preview your work before you export. By clicking your keyboard's spacebar or pressing the play button, you'll be able to watch your work unfold in the preview window. For the purpose of our tutorial, we're just rolling with a template edit provided by WeVideo. All right, so let's say we're satisfied with how the video is looking. You'll find the Finish button in the top right corner. There's quite a bit going on here. Let's talk about the different options you have for your export. First, let's address SD versus HD, or Standard Definition versus High Definition. With SD, you'll benefit from a faster export speed with a smaller file size, helping those of us that might be looking for a quick video in a hurry. On the other hand, we've got HD. The description you see provided can be a little misleading. WeVideo actually offers a larger array of export options for your videos. However, because we're using our district accounts, we only have SD and HD available. Because of that, we can consider HD to be the option that will produce a video that has slightly better quality at the cost of the file size being a little bit bigger with the export process being a little bit longer. All of this, keep in mind, is with respect to only our other option, SD. To keep it simple, SD will give you the export speed at the cost of quality, and HD will give you the quality at the cost of export speed. This may seem like a pretty heavy decision, so let's take a look at SD versus HD in a side-by-side -side comparison. Much of this comes down to preference, so feel free to mess around with your exports to see what works best for your needs. Let's briefly talk about thumbnails, which are the pictures you see when you search for a video. Like these. So I haven't confirmed how to be selective with your thumbnail options in WeVideo, but I do have a hunch, so let's check it out. If you aren't happy with the thumbnail options you see in your export screen, head back to the editor by pressing cancel. In order to get a new set of options, move the playhead over the portion of the video that displays the frame that you would like to use, like William Shakespeare here saying hello then press finish once again. See, our options have changed as my desired frame is now included, but maybe I changed my mind and I wanna test out a different frame. So I'll just go back and I'll try again. WeVideo gives us quite a few export options in terms of products and destinations. First of all, we can omit the visual portion of our video and export only an audio file. Additionally, if the format allows, we can export our work as a GIF or GIF. We can also change the name of our creation up at the top. So let's get this show on the road. Notice the variety of destinations at the bottom. WeVideo will be the first icon selected and it seems to be a default spot for your work. If you'd like to send your work to additional places, Google Drive and YouTube are the next options available. At this time, I have yet to use Microsoft's OneDrive option or the file transfer protocol, though they are available if you prefer those. For the sake of this tutorial, let's just keep our export in WeVideo. We can manually move the file to our desired platform from there. All set. Let's head back to the editor to find it in our WeVideo account. And there you have it. 
Your file is ready to be shared with your class, colleagues, or whichever audience has the pleasure of seeing your creation. This concludes the Wii Video tutorial series. We hope this can serve as a guide as you explore and create. If you'd like to see any specific content covered in any forthcoming videos, be sure to reach out to your building's DLC.